Hi friends, welcome to Ashok IT. In this video, we are going to understand how to deploy Spring Boot application in AWS Cloud. All right, let's get started. First, what is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is an approach to develop Spring based applications with less configurations. Using Spring Boot, we can create the applications and we can just run those applications. Configurations will be taken care by Spring Boot. It is very easy to develop Spring applications by using Boot. Spring Boot providing embedded containers to run our applications. We no need to download and install the servers to run our web applications. Spring Boot will provide you embedded container like Tomcat, Jetty, and Top. You can just create the application and you can run that. Deployment will be taken care by Spring Boot. And it is going to provide form starters to simplify your Maven and Gradle configurations. For example, if you want to develop one web application, you don't need to add so many dependencies in the pom.xml. Just you are going to add one web starter. It will take care of all the required dependencies to develop the web application using Spring Boot. And it will configure the Spring Framework and third party libraries whenever possible. All right, next, what is AWS Cloud? AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. This AWS is one of the leading cloud provider in the market. So what is this cloud? Cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. That means whatever the resources that you need to set up your application, whatever the infrastructure that you need to set up your application, you can take that infrastructure over the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. If you want to set up one application, you need some machines, you need some servers, you need storage, you need network, you need database. All these IT resources you can take from cloud provider like AWS. Pay-as-you-go pricing means how much you will use for that you need to pay. AWS providing 200 plus services over the web, whatever the IT resources that you need, you can take from the AWS. Instead of we are buying, owning, and maintaining our data centers, servers, network, storage, everything, you can take from AWS. AWS is one of the leading cloud provider in the market. All right, so with this, we understood what is Spring Boot and what is AWS Cloud. Spring Boot is used to develop Spring-based applications with less configurations. AWS is one of the cloud provider which will provide IT resources over the internet. Now. We are going to create one boot application and we will deploy that boot application in AWS Cloud. What is the procedure I'm going to follow? I will create one boot application in my local machine. I will package that application using Maven goals. And I will launch one EC2 instance in the AWS Cloud with Linux operating system. I will connect to that Linux machine using mobile extreme software. Then I will install Java software in the EC2 because to run the boot application, we need Java. Once that Java got installed, then I will upload this jar file into EC2 instance from the mobile extreme. Then I will run that boot application. Then we can access that application in our browser. All right, let's get started with this. I'm using Spring Toolsuit IDE to create boot application. File, new. Spring Starter Project. Build tool I'm using Maven. Packaging type jar. Group ID in dot Ashok IT. Artifact ID boot web app. Base package in dot Ashok IT. Click on next. Version 2.7.2, the latest version of the Spring Boot. Web dependency I'm using that is a web starter to develop web application using Spring Boot. All right. The boot application is getting created. In this boot application, I have just added one web starter, guys, nothing else. That web starter will provide the support to develop the web application and it will provide Tomcat as the default embedded container. So one start class is created. Start class is the entry point for boot application execution. Let us create one REST controller. I'm creating a controller with a name called Welcome REST Controller. Welcome REST controller. In this REST controller, I'm going to write one method. So just welcome message method. 
I'm writing written. Welcome to Ashok IT. I'm not writing any logic here currently. Just I'm writing a method which is returning a message. This method I'm binding to get request using get mapping annotation to represent this class as a rest controller. I'm using at the rate rest controller annotation and I'm importing that package rest controller package. I have imported get mapping package also imported. All right. First, let's run this application in the local and check it run as boot application. You see on the console, the boot application started and it deployed into Tomcat server, which is running on the port number 8080. You have seen I have not downloaded the Tomcat. I have not installed the Tomcat. The Tomcat is coming with the Spring Boot as embedded container. Now let's try to access this application in our browser. It is running in my local machine. So let's go with localhost colon 8080 default port number. Welcome to Ashokite. We are able to access the application in the local. Same application I want to deploy in the AWS cloud. All right. For that, I'm going to use my AWS account and I will launch one EC2 instance. Currently, in my account, no instance is in the running state. Let me launch one EC2 instance, Amazon Linux. T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. One instance I'm taking default storage 8 GB tags. You can give me a tag name for that. It is optional step. I'm giving the tag name as Linux VM one. Security group guys, if you don't have a security group, you can go with the default security group. It will create here. We need to enable SSH protocol to connect with the Linux machine. We need this SSH protocol with the 22 port. And our Spring Boot application runs on the Tomcat with the default port 8080. You need to enable that 8080 port also using add rule option. You can enable that port here. 8080 port you can enable here. Custom traffic anywhere, right? If you already have a security group, you can select existing security group. I have created one security group, Ashokite security group. In this security group, already I have enabled that inbound rule custom TCP rule with 8080 and SSH protocol 22. You can use your existing security group or you can create new security group. Make sure SSH protocol and this TCP with 8080 both are enabled in the inbound rules. Next review and launch here. It will ask one key pair file. It is used to connect with our EC2 instances securely. So if you have your key pair already selected, otherwise you can create a new key pair. I already have that. I'm selecting existing one. Launch instances. So this instance launched in the AWS. So it will take some time to get started. Instance state currently in the pending. Let's wait till it comes to available state. Once this instance is ready, we can Connected to this instance using mobile extra. All right. Yep. Currently, this instance is in the running state now. Select this instance. It will give you one public IP. Select this public IP address. Go to mobile extra. I have downloaded mobile extra in my machine. Using this mobile extra, I will connect to this Linux machine. Mobile extra is opening. All right, session SSH remote host. That is the public IP username. The default username for this instance is EC2 user. Connection. I'm using this private key PEM file open. OK. I connected to this machine. All right, so it will ask you to update the existing packages using M package manager sudo M update. Yes updating the existing packages in this Linux machine. Once it is done, I'm going to install Java software in this Linux to run our boot application. Still it is updating. All right, the update got completed. Currently, 
check java is available in this machine or not java version is not available java currently not available in this machine sudo yum install java i'm installing java here confirm java is getting installed yep java installation got completed so let us check java version yes java open jdk 17 got installed all right currently in this machine do we have our application to run no our application is not ready now i am going to package our application as a jar file all right so once this application is packaged as a jar file, we can upload this jar file into Linux machine and we can execute. Currently, if we go to this application target directory, target folder, no jar file is available. Let's package our application using Maven. So right click, run as Maven build. So I'm going to use the goal as clean package, apply, run. Maven goals I'm executing to package our application as a jar file. Packaging type we mentioned as a jar, so the jar file will be created. Maven clean plugin, it is going to delete the target folder. Then it is going to execute compile plugin. Compile plugin will compile our application. Then it is going to package our application as a jar file. It's taking some time guys. build failure see here it is saying that no compiler is provided in this environment perhaps you are running on the jre so in our application build path currently jre available so we need to add the jdk go to build path configure build path libraries click on this jre edit alternate jre currently jdk not available let's add it next home directory let's go to our c directory where java is installed let's go to our c directory where the java is installed c program files java add the jdk select the jdk folder don't select up to bin select up to only jdk click on finish select the jdk now apply apply and close now you can see jdk is available select it finish apply close now jdk is added let's execute maven goal once again maven build compiler plugin is executing changes detected it is compiling our application now Test compile. We need to wait till the jar got created. Yeah, still Maven build is in progress, guys. Maven test plugin is executing now. Surefire nothing but it is a test plugin to execute the test cases in our application. So currently we don't have any test cases. When default test case is executed, it is success. Now, finally, this is jar plugin is executing to package our application as a jar file. So first time it is taking time.
so it is going to download all the dependencies which are required fine guys now finally our build success so let's go here and check the target directory here we can see spring boot jar file got created now we can run our application using this jar file let's go to mobile extram here currently in this machine our jar is not available i'm going to upload the jar into this linux machine jar is available in my windows machine i want to run that in the aws ec2 instance so using mobile extram you can directly upload that jar file here we have upload option guys see here upload to current folder click on this and it is going to ask you where is that jar is available select the location select the location of that jar open that yeah this is my jar file i'm selecting this jar click on open that jar file is getting uploaded into my working directory yes that jar file got uploaded let us see ls hyphen l jar is available yes we can run this jar java iphone jar jar file name i'm trying to execute this application in the aws cloud ec2 instance now you see the jar file is getting executed application started on the tomcat with the port number 8080 this is the default container which we are getting now application is executing in the ec2 instance which is created in the aws cloud now how to access this application in our browser so for our ec2 instance public ip generated right using this public ip we can access this application earlier i accessed using localhost which is running in my machine now my application is available in the aws cloud to access that we are going to use that public ip of ec2 instance colon port number 8080 colon port number 8080 public ip colon 8080 one second colon 8080 now see here i'm able to access that application in my browser where this application is running now this application is running in aws cloud this is the public ip of our ec2 and 8080 is the port number so i hope you understood how to deploy our spring boot application into aws cloud so these are the steps i have followed thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon to get more updates from ashok it thank you bye bye